Welcome to Let's Play Solitaire, and thanks for joining us. Today we will be tackling a random game. It will not be edited. I will try my best to explain my thought process for playing this game. Uh, if you want more tips and stuff, you can always check out these other videos I have. If you have not checked those out already, let's go ahead and get started here. I like to try to go for the columns first, which are these cards, then the draw pile, which are these cards, and save early cards and draw piles insurance. We can't do that right now, so, but we will try if we have something. So let's move these columns first. Going to start with the ace. Okay, we'll do the seven next, and we can move this ace of diamonds up as well. A six can go right here, and I think that is it. So we're going to go with this uh, to the draw pile. Nothing there. Nothing there. There's a six. We're going to save this as our insurance card because that will affect how these other cards are reset. Should we not play anything? I think we're going to play this three right here. Yeah, we're going to play it. And then we'll play the ace of spades. We can move this nine. We can move this eight. And remember, the six is going to be our insurance card. We're going to move this seven of clubs over and we're not going to move the uh, yeah we can move this nine eight because there's two black nines so it doesn't matter we don't have to hold it so okay gonna go through again there's the ace of hearts we can move up i'm not sure whether to play this king or not so i'm not going to play it yet actually i think i do want to play it now i was hoping for a I think a black king might be better to play in this spot because of this jack in the column. However, if we can open up another column, it'll be a moot point. We will play this five, and that'll allow us to move this four and open up a column there. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of see how many we can drop. Alternatively, if we find a black queen, we can play this jack. And more importantly, we could open up this column by moving it under the jack. So that's another option there. Let's go through again. Good news is now that we have this jack here, uh, this 10 is our insurance card. Very important to have this 10 as our insurance card too. Because that means we can, we can do stuff with it. So we will be able to play the 6 now. We'll play the 6 of clubs. And uh, not seeing any other moves behind that, I believe. You know, oh no, we have this five view move. We move this five. And then the real question, of course, and we don't know the answer to that. We have these two fours, four spades, four clubs. We're going to take a look at both angles and see if one of those is better than the other. Ideally, we can open up a column because we have these kings we'd like to bring down from the draw pile. Play this. And if it doesn't work, we'll undo. Okay, we can continue on there. That gives us a wide range of options. We have the two nines. We'll try this nine and see if it goes anywhere. So two of diamonds up. Five of spades. We're kind of in an, an, an impasse right there. Let's look at the other sequence of fours and see what we have there. And that's a dead end, I think, all the way around, huh? Yes, it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this four. And then I'm not sure if that's the move or if this is the move. I think I think more than likely it's going to be this nine moving over so we can move a king. Uh, yeah. So again, we got our ten as insurance as well. We'll play that later on. So we're going through again. And there is nothing there. So we're going to go to the very front of the draw pile. We're going to play that 10. That's good because that allows us to move both these 9s. And we're going to have to figure out a way to move the rest of these cards here. So 5 of diamonds is there. This 3 of diamonds will drop. We'll drop the 4 of diamonds later, I believe, up top. Or move it up top. Drop is probably not the best uh, term. So let's go through again and 
this will be the insurance card. We're going to save this because we'd like to move some other stuff first. So we're going to move this queen. We can move the four diamonds for now. Actually, we don't want to move that. We just moved the queen, right? Let's go back. Okay. We're only going to move the queen right here. The reason we're only moving the queen is there's a card in the draw pile we want to move down. That is the king of spades. And to move the king of spades, we only can move one card in front of that. So that's what we're going to do. We can move this jack, though. And we can open up this column if we need to later on. So, okay. Going through. There's the king. There is our first move. And now... We need to move this queen down, and that should be our first move the next time around. So going through again. There's the queen. And I think we're going to play the jack that has... Yeah, we're going to play this jack right here to open up the column and see what's under that. Three of spades, that's good. We can move it up. Queen of diamonds, we can move over. Or we can move this jack over, but we need to move a king to get that queen out. So let's go through again. And I believe the king that we want to move is going to be in here. So what we're going to have to do is go to the very start of the draw pile. If you'll notice, there are there's a four spades we'd like to move up top. What we're going to do is we happen to have a four of clubs right here. We just happen to have a four of clubs. So we're going to move this three of hearts over. Then the four of spades up. More importantly, that allows us to move this five of spades up as well. And uh, now the tricky part comes. If we can open up this column or this column, I think. I don't think there was a 10. There is a 10 right here. Okay, so that's good. We're going to want to play that 10. So we're what we're going to do is we're going to play this three of diamonds. And then we're going to cycle through. And now the first card that shows up should be the Ten of Spades. We will play that in a minute, but I want to see if there's any other moves. And there is... Well, we could move this Eight of Spades here. And we can move the Seven of Diamonds. And I think we can move the Seven of Spades and Six of Hearts as well. Let's look back here. Yep, so we'll move the Seven of Spades. And then we'll move the Six of Hearts as well. Now we can move the Ten of Diamonds. And the reason we did that is we wanted to manipulate the draw pile as much as possible so we could maximize the number of moves we had. Otherwise, otherwise, when you get in these spots, you're not going to be able to solve these type of games. You just, it's it's going to be game over, and that can be frustrating because you just you get there and you're like, oh, I can't solve this. Well, yeah, you can, you gotta, but you got to get the maximum number of moves out you can't solve everything, but you can probably solve more than half these games. It's just a matter of finding the finding the moves. So don't do this move, obviously. <laughs> going to move the 10 here. And then we're going to cycle through again because we want to drop this 4 of diamonds and the 5 of diamonds. And then, and then we'll see if we can uh, work the rest of this. So 4 of diamonds up, 5 of diamonds up, 6 of spades up. And then we just got one card right here. I think we've got this solved anyway. Gonna move the nine of diamonds right there. Okay, that's the two of clubs. That's a good card up top. Two of hearts is a good card as well. And I think, yeah, that's a good card too. Let's move these hearts up first. So three of hearts, four of hearts. And then let's just see where we're at an impasse here. So we're gonna move the five of clubs over and the six of diamonds up. Seven of diamonds up. I think, yeah, we'll move the six of hearts over. So seven of spades up, eight of diamonds up. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what we have here. We should we should have this solved. So queen over here, king over here. Oh, yep, we've got it. That's it. We've solved the puzzle. So hopefully I made some sense in explaining how to solve these at the end of the game. This is, this is the type of game where I think a lot of time we're not going to... You're going to look at this thing and you're going to say, okay, I give up here, we're done. But, you know, there, there's other ways of solving these puzzles and you can, I think, get up to, I mean, I'm at 35%, but I started out at like 10 to 15% and then got way better and then 
dramatically improved. So if you, you know, check that out, um, I would also recommend possibly checking out some of these other videos. They have other tips and stuff, but, uh, yeah, this should be a good example as well. Uh, as always, I'd like to, uh, thank you for watching and, uh, wish you good luck and, uh, I'm going to be signing out.